Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Microsoft Edge appears to be randomly opening up automatically on your Windows device. So this could definitely be an annoying issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in percent sign, app data, and then another percent sign. Best match should come back with app data right above file folder. Go ahead and just left click on that. Now you want to click on the app data up at the top here. So you want to go out of roaming and go left click on app data. And now double click on the local folder. And now you want to locate the folder that says packages. Now we're going to be looking for a folder that's going to pertain to Microsoft Edge. So we're going to have to scroll down a little bit, not too far, but there should be something that says Microsoft.Microsoft Edge right here. You see Microsoft of Microsoft Edge and then underscore AW and then just a bunch of random letters and characters after that. So what you want to do at this point is go double click on it. And now you want to go double click on AC. And now double click on the entry that says Microsoft Edge. And now there should be something that says user. Double click on that. And then there should be a default folder. Go into that one as well. And now there's a recovery folder. Same thing, jump into that. And then there should be an active folder right here. What you want to do at this point is double click on it. So now you want to tap the control A key on your keyboard to highlight over all of them or you can just drag over all of them if you want just with your left mouse pointer just drag over all these files. Right click and then select delete. Once this is done you want to restart your computer here. And I'm just going to show you guys that you know Microsoft Edge is still going to work after this so we're just going to go ahead and restart the computer and then we'll relaunch Edge once our computer has restarted.
Okay guys, so you can see we're back into Windows. So, so we open up Edge just to show that it still works. You can see it works perfectly fine here. So pretty straightforward process guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.